welcome to Wednesday show. We have lots to get into today, so let's get started. Coming up, some unbelievably cute baby lambs. But first, a competition is underway to find Ireland's best budding scientists. Well, I met some students in County Offaly who are taking part. We're in Captain's Dog Project and we wanted to see how much dogs were won by popularity. 14% said they prefer cats and dogs, 14 said other, and 72 said they prefer dogs and cats. Science can be as simple as an investigation into preference, cats or dogs, or as complicated as finding out which drinks make a sand flea tick. Well, the SciFest exhibition at Tullamore College had all of that and more. What scientists have done for us now, helping us through COVID with medicines, different cures, and it's just we need that in the future as well. So just for people to be learning about science in school is, is needed. I think it has inspired us slightly because we like to challenge the current ideas. SciFest is Ireland's biggest second level STEM fair programme and it attracts more than 10,000 students nationwide. They research, develop and showcase their science projects, all with an eye on winning the national final. Judging is currently underway here at Tullamore College, as it is in schools across the country. Some of the projects will advance to the regional finals and from there the national finals. After that, some projects will even get to go to the US to represent Ireland. And there were winners here in Tullamore. In the junior section, the highs and lows of heart rates. We wanted to test um, how energy drinks affected your heart rate, if it increased them or if it was good or bad. And we also found out there was a milk that helps you sleep and we wanted to just test if that actually worked. Um, so we found these like flea, they're called like water fleas and they're transparent. So when you put them under the microscope, you can see their heart beating. And in the senior section, the winners were a chemistry study on pollution levels in local water. And um, so we did, it was a chemical experiment, so we did titration. Um, so we basically took five samples from, uh, like two samples from five different places along each, so like either the river or the canal, and we tested them to get the biochemical oxygen demand in them. These winners, along with some other standout projects, will move on to one of the 16 regional finals taking place in the coming months. The litmus test will be how they fare there, but these guys have it down to a science. 